Hi everyone, I'm Li Chen from National University of Singapore. Today I'm going to present our work, Unsupervised Domain Adaptation for Animal Pulse Estimation. The main challenge for this task is the lack of label data. Existing works solve this problem by learning from other more accessible domains such as the human domain, with some domain adaptation techniques. The problem here is that quite a number of animal data still need to be labeled because of the large domain gap between the human and the animal. The other option is to use synthetic data, which is low cost and convenient. And more importantly, the domain gap is more manageable. So the idea is to generate pseudo labels with model trained on synthetic data and then incorporate these pseudo labels into training gradually. The problem here is that the generated pseudo labels are always noisy and lead to degraded performance when directly used for training. So in this work, we propose a cost to find pseudo label updating strategy to gradually incorporate more accurate labels. This is the backbone of our work, which is a multi-scale domain adaptation module. It consists of a post estimation module and a domain classifier. The post estimation module is supervised with the pseudo labels, and the domain classifier is to reduce the domain gap between the synthetic and the real images. The key idea of this work is a cost to find pseudo label update strategy. So, regard the output of the MDAM as the initial estimation and for the refined with a refinement block. The cost update is based on a self-distillation loss, where we gradually replace the pseudo labels with the output of the refinement block. In other words, we gradually replace this pseudo label based loss with a self-distillation loss. So adding this inner loop for cost update, we further adding another outer loop for fine update. The outer loop is a student teacher network where the width of the teacher network is updated with EMA. The fine update is based on a self consistence loss, so we add random perturbations into the input of both branches and then enforce the consistency between them. In this way, we can replace this pseudo label based loss with this self consistence loss. We mentioned that we removed the noise pseudo labels in both course and the fine update. The question here is how do we select the noise pseudo samples? So we use a small loss trick here to gradually remove the samples with a loss that is larger than a threshold, and this threshold is decreasing during the training. Here comes our experimental part. We show quantitative results on the TikTok dataset. We can see that our approach outperforms state-of-the-art approach by a large margin and even outperforms the supervised approach for the host category. We also apply our model to the unseen animal domains, which includes the sketch, painting, and the clay part. We can see that our network can also generalize to these unseen domains and achieve state-of-the-art results. We also apply our model to unseen animal categories. Note that we train our model on horse and a tiger, and now we test on dog, cat, sheep, and cow. We can see that our model can also generalize well to these unseen animal categories. In conclusion, we propose an approach for unsupervised animal pose estimation. We design a multi-scale domain adaptation module to reduce the domain gap between synthetic and real data. And we introduce a cost to find pseudo label updated strategy to replace noise pseudo labels with more accurate ones. Thank you for listening. For more details, please refer to our paper and code.